Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Very well. Thank you for asking. How is everybody going today? I do bad. I'm sad. I I stress. I full. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? No, no puedo decir esa palabra aquí. Okay. <laughs> no censuran, no censuran, Eric. Okay. So we are going. Sí, to, por favor. We're going to. Ah, ya our... sabía. ¿Qué onda, Estela? How are you? <laughs> you <Thank well>? you. <laughs> Apareció. Yes. <laughs> Well, Eric, maybe. le presento a Estela. Estela estuvo en el, en el, en el, ay, en el curso anterior. Somos compañeras de hace tres meses, ¿verdad? Ok, that's yeah. good. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Sí, Welcome uh, habemos varios residentes. That's good. <laughs> It's very good that everybody yeah. finishes and we graduate. Yes. Yeah. That's the objective. Yes. Así no nos da pena. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, welcome to the English class and uh well only maybe you need a massage that it will be good for you <laughs> today. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Say, ah okay, um hay hay unas palabras que hay 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 unas palabras que necesito aprender bien en inglés que no están dentro del vocabulario tan tradicional. Okay. <laughs> de preferencia que comiencen con F, con right. W. <laughs> okay. I know. <laughs> as, 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 ¿Vos sabés de la sí me libero el estrés? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we ah, have their own method. Lastima los oídos. <laughs> no, y ahí hay drink mojitos, yes. <laughs> ah, okay. That is something that we can do. Imagine, I, I'm thinking... How how well we are going to speak English after six mojitos? Yeah. Very fluent, right? <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Después hasta la lengua. Ah, okay. <laughs> Mira, después hasta está todo bien. Hasta Portugal les voy a hablar. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, before we start. Uh, Have you finished the midterm test? Uh, are you doing that tomorrow? How is everything going with the platform? Uh, <clears throat> I finished my work in the platform. Okay, the very good. Platform. Okay. Yeah, yesterday. Yes. Oh, no, in the morning. Today All in right. the morning. Sí, hay un par por acá que ya terminaron. Pues, nice, that is good, okay? También revisen el... el al final los, los gráficos que estén bien, que todo esté nice, pues por cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Um, oh, también, teacher, ahora recibí un mensaje en mi celular que ya tendría que uh, contestar un mensaje que me enviaron para inscribirme en el siguiente, en la, para continuar con los módulos. Eso sí, es correcto. Sí, ahora lo enviaron. Sí, Ajá. esto les iba a comentar, que sí, eh, ahora estuvieron enviando ya Uh, las solicitudes y todo lo, para que ustedes envíen los formularios y los documentos para iniciar ya el siguiente módulo, yo les recomiendo que lo hagan lo antes posible. Es hasta el 10 de febrero. Eh, pero, pues, yo pensaría que es mejor enviarlo antes. Ya casi. Sí, la verdad es que sí, porque ahora es 3. Eh, sí. Digamos que por allá, por el 7, que estemos ya todos inscritos, sería perfecto. Eh, también oh. recuerden que hay que volver a enviar la foto del Dubi el NIT y todo lo que les han pedido, ¿verdad? Eso es muy importante. Entonces, por eso sí, quizás sea bueno... Perdón. Dígame. Sería en, en el módulo intermedio 2, ¿verdad? Así es. El intermedio, el siguiente, el 2. Entonces... Eh, una consulta, teacher. Dígame. Pero, ¿por qué razón hay que enviar nuevamente toda la documentación? Nuevamente hay que enviar DUI, nuevamente hay que enviar solicitud. Sí, es un requerimiento que tiene INSAFOR, eh, porque ah, bueno. cada módulo ellos van pidiendo eh, esa información. Entonces, para estar inscrito, tiene que enviar todo. Y por eso también les decía que sería bueno que lo enviaran antes. Por si hay alguna situación, pues ya le dicen, mira, envíelo mañana, o mejor envíe esto, o cámbiele esto, alguna cosa, pues tenemos chance, tenemos tiempo como para poder hacer los cambios. En cambio, si es el último día, a veces andamos corriendo y pues pueden pasar tantas situaciones, ¿verdad? 
Eh, pero sí, ya pueden inscribirse y se espera, si todos se ponen las pilas y están inscritos lo antes posible, se espera iniciar el 22, el siguiente módulo. Entonces ya sería es... terminando. Terminamos sí. este y te inicia el siguiente. Esa es la idea. O sea que este módulo en el que estamos termina el 19. Por ahí. Por yes. ahí. Yes. Porque, no, el 18 porque es, es el jueves. jueves. Exacto. Ese jueves vamos a terminar eh, esta, este módulo. Sería que, este sería, el, mañana terminamos la segunda semana y son cuatro semanas. Entonces, cabal ahí por el 18 estaríamos terminando este módulo entero. Good, good. Ok. Um, and, uh, no questions about the platform, right? Si hay preguntas, dudas, también me pueden escribir y me pueden eh, escribir directamente si ustedes necesitan. Ah. Eh, lo puedo, puedo hacer el, perdón, puedo hacer el examen el viernes el o mismo. mañana. Sí, no, sí, ahora sí, en la viernes. noche hasta las 12 tienen abierta la plataforma. Eh, Mentira, pero... Juan. <risa> sí, lo Gracias. puede hacer, solo con el final hay que tener cuidado. El final, para los que no lo han hecho todavía, el final sí, el, ese, esa fecha que creo que es 18, hasta ese día se puede, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese día o el jueves, el miércoles antes, lo vamos a revisar por cualquier situación que se haya dado, uh, pero pues hay que tratar de hacerlo antes, ¿verdad? Porque media vez se cierre, pues es bien complicado. Ok. Ok. okay. So, uh, do Una you... Go ahead, please. I have a question. El, el, el examen está en la plataforma. Ahí está el examen. Yes. Sí, yes. Five. Mm -hmm. yes. Sí, usted simplemente yes. va haciendo los ejercicios, va viendo los videitos y de repente le va a salir el midterm test que es después de la sección 3 uh -huh. y luego después de la sección 5 está el final test eh, y solo los hace, ¿verdad? Eh, Aún no me han confirmado okay. si nosotros vamos a hacer algo diferente, no creería. A mí lo que me gusta mucho es hacer como presentaciones, cortitas, ¿verdad? Algo, algo sencillo porque somos varios y para que hablemos mucho, pero vamos a ver también cómo vamos con los contenidos porque hay contenidos que sí son un poquito más complejos y me interesa mucho que los, los entiendan bien y que además eh, lo sepan usar, ¿verdad? Es bien importante. Entonces vamos a ir midiendo quizás ya la otra semana a ver cómo hacemos eso. Pero dentro de lo que cabe sería simplemente las clases, la gramática, los ejercicios que hacemos acá y lo de la plataforma que es importante. Tener 80% finalizado todo y puedes venir a las clases, ¿verdad? A, las, a las videoconferencias. Y con eso pues estarían ya en el otro. No sé si vamos a estar juntos y si estamos pues va a ser un placer. Lo vamos a solicitar de manera express. Good. Exclusivo. Nice. Yes. Eso lo vamos a hablar con Elena para que continua, continuemos con la misma forma. Very good. Así, hicimos, así hicimos en un curso. Ah, ok, good. <ríe> sí, 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 la podemos ver de Estela. <ríe> ah, ahí está Estela entonces, ok. <ríe> no, ahí Very tenemos good. un comité de sindicatos. <ríe> oh, ok. <ríe> <ríe> uh, okay. I have a question. Go ahead. Yeah. Yo puedo, digamos, yo terminé en mi trabajo en la plataforma. Uh -huh. Ya hice el examen que dice y final y tengo el porcentaje, mi progreso, yo lo revisé y está todo. Uh -huh. Este, pero yo puedo estar durante este todo este tiempo hasta el 18 repasando, si yo quiero, puedo ir a la sección 1, 2 o, o todo lo que yo quiera repasar. Así es, usted Eso puede... no, no cambia nada de lo que ya está en mi progreso. No, no. Lo que he hecho y Definitivamente no. Sí, si usted puede. Solo no modifiques los exámenes porque si los borras ahí sí volvés a cero. Sí, eso es importante, que el examen sí. no le modifica, si no lo tiene que volver no, a hacer. Pues, lo puede exacto. Tener. O sea, sí los puedes repetir, pero si por alguna razón borras algo y no te fijas, te vas a la puntuación. Ah, y ya por... como que se borra. Reinicias como que no has hecho nada. Entonces, ojo con eso porque sí ha pasado. O sea, la recomendación sería que si va a hacerlo, si va a repasar, si va a repetir ejercicios, eh, puede, al finalizar el, el repaso, vaya a ver el progreso, a ver los gráficos, que estén bien. Si están no, okay. bien, that's good. Ajá. Porque a mí me gustaría repasar como los, los sharp y los videos donde dan la explicación acerca de los temas. Porque los, la nota me quedó en 100%. Sí, la nota, como, como le dice y ahí hoy, es 
Simplemente Ajá. no los modifique si no lo tiene que volver a repetir. Esa sería la única situación, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ya, ah, bueno. Sí, no, no, no mover nada de lo que ahí está. Exacto. Okay. Y si también ¿Sí? quieren practicar algunas cosas, pues yo con gusto les mando links ahí el chat y pueden practicar todo lo que quieran. Sí, pero lo I que am sea... practice speak English full. Yes, I, I am group. I am uh, speaking full, full, full. Uh, I, I have, si tenés link que nos puedan servir, sería buenísimo. Ok. Bueno, les voy a estar enviando ejercicios, unos cuantos, unos Thank tres, you. cuatro. Para, para que okay. vayan. Very good. Ok. Nice. Okay. Sure. ok. Any other question before we start the class? Uh, nothing. Yo, uh, yo tengo una aplicación, tal vez les pueda servir a todos ustedes, que se llama Hello Talk. Ah, es bien okay. chiva porque, porque esta aplicación ustedes pueden hablar con personas nativas que hablan inglés nativo. Entonces, estas personas eh, quieren aprender a hablar español y nosotros queremos aprender a hablar inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces, intercambiamos cultura, intercambiamos vocabulario. Ellos aprenden de nosotros, nosotros aprendemos de ellos. Y lo chivo que es una aplicación gratuita. Creo que ah, tiene nice, Antonio. Una, una parte que, que, que se paga también, ¿verdad? Pero de ahí, por lo demás, o sea, todo está bien genial. Se llama Hello Talk. talk de, Hello de, de Talk. Hablar. Hello, oh, mandale hello al grupo. Talk. Ah, vaya, voy a mandar el, el grupo link de ahora ahí para, que, para que lo descarguen. Sí, Exacto. porfa. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Thanks. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Ok, my friends, so we're going to start the class of today. Yesterday we were checking many things. And today we're going to do exactly the same. So, Adverbs of quantity. Um, this is actually very easy. Esto es, no es, it's not that difficult. It's going to be very easy. So in this one, uh, we can use adverbs of quantity with count and noun count nouns. So for example, we can say um, there are too many cars. That means that we don't need more, right? Too many. It's not good, right? The other one it says there should be fewer cars okay this is like a recommendation debería de haber menos I, that's my opinion right there should be fewer cars so fewer is something that you can use to to provide opinion and talk about quantity about something the other one says we need more subway lines so you can use also more in this one and uh, enough, that is also very common in English. There aren't enough buses. Well, in El Salvador, probably is different, right? There are too many buses. So, uh, we can also use this kind of grammar with noun count nouns. So, instead of many, we're going to use much. There is too much traffic. Remember that for the Noun count, we're going to use uh, is and no are, is singular, right? Also, instead of fewer, we can use less. There should be less pollution. Okay. And uh, the other one, no uh, more, also is possible to use it with noun count nouns. We need more public transportation. So, for noun count nouns, it's also possible to do that one. And also enough. Uh, just remember that it's going to be with a singular, right? There isn't enough parking. So we need more. That's the meaning of that one. Okay. Uh, do you have any question about this little grammar? I got it. <laughs> It's not that difficult, just remember the way that you use them. Um, and let's see if we can find some words. Mm. Pollution, what is pollution? Like yes. contamination, contamination. Yeah, so that is something that is not good for nature, right? So, and pollution can be anything. I mean, it can be um, in the air. In it the can air. be uh, also, uh, you can have noise pollution, right? Noise pollution is when there is a lot of noise. 
and you uh, uh, maybe here in El Salvador we don't care that may, may much I mean but in other countries uh, there there are laws about that one so they don't uh, they don't have a lot of noise if you don't need that one okay any question here in this grammar Okay, let's move on. It's clear. Okay, so what we're going to do is to unscramble these ones. Okay, so we're going to unscramble uh, the sentences or questions. So tell me, who's going to be the first one? There are too many buses. There are too many buses. There are too many buses. What do you think in El Salvador? Do, do we have too many buses or do, uh, do we need more buses? There aren't enough buses. What do you think? There are... There are enough buses. I think there are too many buses. Too many buses. Enough, right? We don't need more. Everybody agrees on that? No. Because... Uh, uh, a lot of people traveling on the buses. I think we need more buses, but good buses. No, no. <laughs> the buses. Uh, and the ones that we have. New buses. New buses. Yeah, new buses. But what about yeah. the traffic? Do you believe that, I mean, if we have more buses, we're going to have more traffic. So it's going to be a lot of traffic. But, but when you travel on the bus, it's, it's less, uh, we have less pollution than if you have a car. Everyone have a car. Okay, I that think. is a, a good opinion. I mean, yes, if we don't drive our cars and we go by bus, it's going to be less traffic as well. Yeah. Interesting, good, nice, like it. Number two, how is it going to be? Uh, there should there be, be fewer cars, fewer cars in our, 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 city. our city. Very good, there should be fewer cars in our city. So that's what Roxana was telling us, right? Uh, too many cars, maybe that is the reason. There are some families that they have two or three cars, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Sometimes it's necessary. I mean, security in the country sometimes is not that good. Uh, in when you travel by bus, sometimes it's dangerous. So, what would be a solution for that one? What do you think? If we go by bus but it's not secure, what do we need? I think that we need uh, electric cars. That. Uh, will help for the night nature and um, with the traffic yes we have a serious problem i don't know how to solve that kind of problem yeah that is a big problem go ahead i, I thought somebody was going for to other oh. solution uh -huh. uh, i need more bicycles yeah. that might be uh, another solution how do you how do you say uh, uh, bicycle roads or bicycle lanes. Bicycle lanes. Yeah, that might be a solution. I mean, if your job is not that far away, you can go by bicycle. Uh, in many other countries, they do that a lot. Okay. Yeah, very good. Number three. Um, we need more we need more public transportation. transportation do you agree on that one i mean uh, almost all the transportation here are is private um meaning that we have lots of cars lots of uh, things like that uh do we need more public transportation meaning that maybe a different way of transportation that is not like a bus Maybe it could be. 
for okay. example, a train. But our country is very small for that. Yeah. I remember that a few years ago, some people, they were talking about subway, right? To have a subway in the city, in San Salvador. Uh, do you believe that is a good idea? Yes. Yes, I think, I think. for example, the el que el de el que está parado, I don't remember. En la de sal. Ah, transitorio. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a, a good idea, but um, es, well, I, how do you say it? Como un tema político, o sea. Yeah. yeah, it's politics. That is the problem, right? It's not yeah, a real it's solution, a but it's something else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, the problem um, maybe uh, is um, the infrastructure no, no, no exists re realmente. Really? Their design is very bad. Right? Very. Yeah, I mean, yes, very bad. Yeah, we uh, need like a better solution. Maybe ideas are good, but we need something better, right? I I have um no, ya como se dice, ya vamos a tener el tren del Pacífico. Ah, uh, we are que going a unos to have 30 30 años posiblemente sea realidad. Maybe. Okay. Okay, so hey, number hey, teacher. Go ahead. Teacher and everybody, can you imagine that maybe in the future we could have a jetpack or an electric jetpack? That could be great because we we could have a very good solution for traffic and for pollution. I a totally believe but that that is a, a solution for electric. the future. For cities like ours, yeah, it should be something like that. Problem is that it's a little bit expensive, yeah. right? But anyways. Everybody, everybody flying for all the country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, number four, how is it gonna be? Number four, there is, there is too much pollution in, no, air pollution. There is there is there too is much pollution, pollution in to, air. no air pollution no. No. in in our country. <laughs> there is yes. yeah, there is too much air pollution in our country. No. That is it. Yeah, that is it. So there is too much air pollution in our country. Nice. Uh, what do you believe in El Salvador? Do we have a lot of pollution? Yes. Depends. In the city, for example, San Salvador, there are many pollution. But in the other departments, I think, uh, no. no. There aren't many pollution. There is for example, many. Chalatenango. Yeah, I mean, that is true. Probably the city that has a lot of problems is San Salvador, right? Lots of pollution, lots of people, lots of traffic, lots of many things. Good things and some bad things. So, yeah, that is true. What about number five? Number five. There are enough car parks. Good. There aren't enough car parks no. or parking or parking lots, you can say. Um, what do you think here in, in, in San Salvador? How is uh, the parking lot? How are you able to park very easy, or you need to go around and around? There aren't no. It's very car difficult. Park. Yes, the parking in, in San Salvador. Yeah. Yes. Is is bad. Very difficult. I don't know. I don't have a car and I live in Chalchuapa. <laughs> okay. Uh, Chalchuapa is beautiful. San Salvador is stress traffic, full traffic. Uh, um, 
today eh, es diferente. Yeah. yeah, that is true. It's different. And uh, if you had an accident or somebody has an accident, well, that takes. Forever. Yes, <laughs> accident a eh, eh, very five minutes. Yeah. All right. So it's going to be number six. Number six. We need, we need, we need more, more money. money. We need more money. Definitely right. We need more money. <laughs> Yo, I yeah, have. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> I need. Mean. We need. We, we need. Need. need more money. But I you, need you. Here, here we have a question. Para los mojitos, dice Ori. Okay. <laughs> Ay, <sería. laughs> Roger, how are you, Roger? Ya decía yo que no te había escuchado. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that happens. I mean, but there is a question that I want to ask you. Uh, there are people that they are millionaire and they want more money. So do you believe that um, some people can have enough money at some time? I, I didn't understand the question, teacher. The question is, uh, I guess, that we uh, we have more money, but we need more and more. I mean, even if we have ten thousand dollars every month, we're going to need more money. Do you agree that one? That we oh. always need more money, even when you have a lot of money. Yes, teacher. All the people always need more money. Yeah, millionaire. <laughs> I don't, yes. I don't believe that. You don't believe that. Uh, the no. question is why they need more money if 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 they have a lot of money. No, no, no Roche. The question is uh, the people always need more money. They always want more money. I mean, for ah. example, football. Ah. For example, the soccer players, right? They have millions of dollars, but they they always want more and more and more. It's not, it's unnecessary. Uh, play is nest hay algunas cosas que sí son necesarias y hay otras que no I I need I need I need money and my money so much yeah that is true we always need yeah. something else that, so the problem is not the money but the need right yes that's yes, that I need, I need toilet, I need, I need transport, I need internet, I, 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 everything is, I need, I need, I need my money. Okay. Yes. I, no, I think, I think they have enough money, but the human always wants more, more money. Yeah, that is true. No, no matter the quantity of money. Always need more money. Yeah, that is like the human nature, right? Yo you creo que voy a emigrar para chalat. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we need to run a business together. So yeah. number seven. Who's going to be uh, number seven? There are too seven. many. There are too many. There are too many. There are too many. There are too many. Suicides. There are too many suicides. That suicide. sadly is true. There are many people thinking about that one and making that one. So, um, what might be a solution for for this? What do you think? For solutions, I say I work, I study. Uh, enter them to have a purpose in life yes yeah probably that is something important some people they don't know what they want why they're here so we need a purpose in life uh, there, are, there are many many reasons about that yeah uh, it's depend on the own situation that you Live, I don't know. <laughs> that is true. Everybody's different and everybody has different situations in their lives. So yeah. Okay, number eight. How's it going to be number eight? Okay. 
The government the needs to build many highways. Many highways. The government needs to the build many highways. highways. Very good. Mm -hmm. What do you think here for Sabo? Is that true? I mean, do we need more highways? I yes, think. we need. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. So we don't have enough uh, highways. Good. Okay, number nine. Teacher, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. What is highway? Very good. What is highway? Anybody can tell? Like it's a, like a street. Yeah. Street, carretel. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like streaming that road. connect cities. Uh -huh. That is. It. So there are streets. But it's not. Okay, but it's not a speed, a speed, uh, street or or the car. I don't know. I I. I don't know how can I explain my idea. It's about. I I think it's about. Um, como carretera donde van rápido. The, the other is how yeah it's different oh, when you go faster because you are going to go to other city town or something like that, right so highways connect cities and towns but in el salvador no existe in, in our country doesn't exist well here oh. in el salvador we can say uh, that yeah. if, if you go to uh, to san salvador for example you take the highway that is a highway Mm. Por ejemplo, la Panamericana. La Panamericana es un highway. That is a highway. Yes. Yes. Uh, Pero, uh, of carretera de oro. Uh -huh. We mm -hmm. have all those highways. But it, it, um, in, uh, in the movie, I saw about the highway in the, in the United States. It's a career and it, it's different and then, than another career. Yeah, the thing is that in the in the USA, the is cars the move fast. The fast the, is the freeway. That is a freeway, yeah. Ah, oh, freeway. Mm. Yeah. So that one, you take it down and you go fast, and then you have to change lane if you are going to uh, go into an entrance or, or to an out from the freeway. Uh, but the highway is like any street that connects cities or towns. Oh, okay. okay. I understand. Good, good, good question, good question. Okay, how is going to be then, uh, let me see, number nine. There should be there less noise. There should be less, there should noise. Be less noise. 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 There should be less noise. Less, there should and be in less noise. In San Salvador, how is the noise pollution? What do you think? Yes, we need. So there is a lot, or we Less. we are okay with noise pollution. I I think there there is uh, no. What is the opposite of less? More. More. More, more pollution. In San Salvador. Yeah, in San Salvador is. It's different when you live in the in the how do you say in El Campo. In the country, the country, the country side. Yes, there is less pollution in that in that place. That is correct, and in everything, right? All also in noise pollution, <laughs> right? Okay, number ten. Mm. We have too we many have too many buildings. Many buildings. Many buildings. Many buildings. Okay, we have too many buildings. That is correct. Nice. Um, how can we improve the world for future generations? What do you think? We need more of something, less. We have enough of something. How can we improve the world for future generations? What, what is the question, teacher, please? Uh, can you repeat? I couldn't hear you. Of course. The question is, how can the world be improved for future generations? How we can improve the world? No, no me pueden olvidar. De todas formas, ya sabemos que eso es feo, Roger. Vaya. No problema. Eso es. 
Teacher, ¿qué le pasó? Ya. Okay. ¿Qué le pasó, teacher? Teacher, where are you? I don't know, Angelina. Where are you? Sí, yo tu morro, mi herida. Ok, so I was, I was asking you, um, how can we improve the world for future generations? I understand the question, but I don't Yo creo know. que en español, si la dice en español, la, 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 la captamos más rápido porque nos hemos quedado con el hamster trabado. Ok. ¿Cómo podemos mejorar el mundo para mejores, para las siguientes generaciones? Uh, so, ah, ok. But in English, of course. How can we, we, okay. we need more something, okay. like something, we have enough of something. What do we need to do? Um, maybe no, not drawing litter in the streets. Yeah, stop littering is important, right? So nature and the world is cleaner in the future. Good, that is a good one. Okay. Oh, it's important that I think the future education uh, for the children, because when all um, the adult uh, people is more difficult to to uh, change uh, change the, their their minds. I think. That is. But in when you work with with children, is more easy. It's easier. It's more easier, or it's easy. Easier. I think. Okay. Yeah, easier. that is true. Education is a, an important part. So we need a better education, right? Okay. What else? Any other? I think uh, we need to take care of the world. For example, the natural, na natural, the Nature. planet. Uh -huh. Yeah. Natural. Uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's important. Yeah. It's, for it's example, important. the pollution is yeah. is a very very difficult. Yeah, there is too much pollution. That is true. So we need to do something about that one. That is for sure. Okay. Any other opinion before we move on? Uh, plant many trees. Plant more trees. Yeah, we uh, need. Trees. So we uh, don't have enough trees. That is true. Um, help helping with afforestation programs. Okay. Yeah, that is also uh, important. So, I mean, if uh, people they have entertainment, they have things to to think about of course they are going to build something better for the future okay my friends we're going to continue with the next topic let me just present you here okay so this is direct questions and indirect questions this is very easy actually um, yes. a direct question is something that you ask directly for example who is she who are you where is my car uh, where can I sit? So that is straight question. It's a direct question. Okay. The indirect question is when you want to be more polite, when you want to be nice. You know, uh, in the indirect question, uh, for example, you have a question inside of another question. So, do you know who she is? For example. Can you tell me where I can sit? An indirect question uh, is um, like a statement. So if you see there, it says, look, indirect questions are structured like statements. It's not like a, like a question. This is like um, a statement that you can say as well. So you can use it as a question and also as a statement. Both ways is possible. So he is asking who she is. You can say that. I wonder where I can sit. So in that, in those two last examples, it's not like a question. It's like 
you are wondering, you're thinking how it's going to be better or, or what is going on. And also you can do, of course, the indirect question. Do you know who she is? Okay. And the verb to be, as you see there, is at the end. Who she is. No, it's who is she. Right? Do you have any question about uh, that? Teacher, mm -hmm. I have a question about, about the last part, an indirect question in a statement. Mm -hmm. It's a question that you yourself in your it might be yourself sometimes. yeah and the second one is like that i wonder where can i sit oh i can see this so in that case it's like i'm thinking i'm wondering the first one no the first one is he is asking who she is so it's like when you are explaining something uh, and uh, you are using the indirect speech okay but it's not that difficult. The most common way for you to use this one is when you want to be polite. When you ask somebody, do you know if um, I can smoke here? Could you please open the window? Uh, can you please tell me your name? So that is the most common. The most common is okay. being polite, right? So it's not the same to say, what's your name? Could you please tell me what your name is? Okay. 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 I understand. Right. Any other question? Anything else here? No. Okay. So let's practice. Okay. Um, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay. There we go. So we're going to change those into indirect questions. So the first one says, did she go out last night? How can you transform that? Can you tell me? Uh, I, I try to remember about the, the, the platform. Okay, yeah. When, you, you, when you, you have in, a, in, a, in a, the past tense, Okay. And you transfer the 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 bird. That is. That is and true. you omit the the auxiliary. That is true. Um, can you tell me? Uh, she go out. No, she. The past of go. She go when. out. No, no, I don't know. She. I don't remember exactly. She went. She went. No. I, I will. She went. She went out. She went out last yeah, night. I, I will. Yeah, that will be. No, but I remember the very as is, is at, at the end. No? When? No. That depends on the on the. Or when? it can be. Uh -huh. I wonder. Oh. I wonder if she went out last night. Oh, that is a good one. I wonder. Uh -huh. I wonder if she went out last night. Yeah. That is good. Perfect. Perfect. So, how is it going to be now? I'm sorry. Que nos invite. Que nos invite todo. Yes, everything. But, Everybody. But it's not sufficient. Uh, it's not enough. But it's not enough for all. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Okay, uh, so it's going to be uh, number two. How is it going to be? Okay. Where did you meet her brother? Do you know where she meet her brother? No, where she, she meet? No, met. <laughs> where she her brother <laughs> met? No. I don't, you can say, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, it's something like that. I mean, you can say, can you tell me where uh, she met her brother? You can say something like that. Where she met her brother. Where she met, met. her brother. Uh -huh, because it's no auxiliary and we are going to change the verb. That is it. She met him and the food. At the food. The school. Okay. So number three, how is it going to be? 
who was the film? The film. How was the film? How Can you know the how film? was the film? The Centro Cultural. <laughs> Okay, so in this one is going to be the way that you were telling me. Uh, can you tell me or yeah, yes. do you know? Do you know how the film was? How in the this film case, was. Mm. was was going to be at the end. How the film was. Okay. The film was. Okay, that is going to be the structure. Number four. How is going to be number four? Was the first, the first to arrive. Right. For, for example, she was asking a uh, no. She was asking, was they be the first to arrive? Yes, yeah, something like that. She was asking if David was the first to arrive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Sorry. Number five. I lost the work at home yesterday. Excuse me, uh, Lucy worked at home yesterday. Yes, yeah, something like that. Excuse me, do you know yes. if Lucy worked at home yesterday? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, good. Or do you know Lucy worked at home yesterday? Do you know if Lucy worked at home yesterday? Good. Yeah, you can say that. Okay, the next one is uh, number the problem. six. Thanks. Do you know? Could you tell me what was the Can problem? You Can you tell me what the problem was? What the problem was? What the problem was? What the problem was? That is it. So, can you tell me? Could you please tell me what the problem was? Nice. Good. Number uh, seven. Okay. Do you know? Uh, oh no. Let's see. Yeah, you can um, say do you know? Do you know who we saw at the party? Yeah, do you know or can you tell no. me who we saw at the party? Good. <laughs> now we're going to go to number eight. Exactly. I'm wondering is if Zach, um, oh, I don't remember the pass of call. That is with ED. Cold. 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 I'm, I'm wonder, I wonder if Zach called his mom yesterday. Very good. I wonder if Zach called his mom yesterday. Good. Perfect. Number nine. Where are they at the page? Do you know? Do you know? If they. They. They at the beach were. Do you know if they were at the beach? Very good. Number ten. Uh, sorry, teacher. Yes. Pronounce again uh, uh, playa? Uh, beach. Beach. <laughs> beach. 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 Okay. Okay. Not tea on that one. That is important. Okay. <laughs> Number 10. <laughs> you know where the class where was? Do you know class? where the class was? You know. Very good. Do you know where the class where the was? class was? Nice. Mm -hmm. Let's continue practicing on the other side. So number eleven. Uh, do you know 
why they arrive they arrive so late arrive regular yeah that is nice what about number 12 was she at home yesterday how is she can you tell me yesterday if she was yeah you tell me she was at home yesterday that is it can you tell me if she was at home yesterday good number 13 how did she do it do you know how she did it good do you know how she did it nice number 14 where are they in the garden you know if they were in the garden okay do you know if they were in the mm -hmm. garden nice number 15 they are right like mm -hmm. Do you tell me if if, if they arrived late. late? Good. Can you tell yeah. me if they arrived late? Arrived late. Number sixteen. You finished the report. Do you, Do you know? Do you know? John, John finished, you know? finished the report. Good. Do you know if John finished the report? Finished the report. Number seventeen. Do you know why we were late for the meeting? Do you know? Very good. If we're we late were, for the meeting. If we were late for the meeting. Okay. Okay. Nice. Number eighteen. Do you know what they did at the what weekend? They what they did, did at the weekend? Good. Do they you know the what weekend. they did at the weekend? Nice. And number 19. Why was she so Why early? Do you Can know? You tell me why she why was so she early. She was so early. Good. Do you know? Can you tell me why was she so early? She was so early. So uh, yeah. remember that this is when you want to be more polite. So you can tell me, could you please, could you do, depending if you are going to request. When you want to request something in action, then you can say, could you please, could you, or something like that. But it's very good. I mean, I see that you have uh, learned this topic. It's not that difficult, but uh, sometimes since we have different things, might be challenging and we have a little bit more let me just check it's almost time but i want to tell you this part this is um well this is very similar to the one that we were checking before something is more than we want or we need we're going to use two plus an adjective this is like the first example uh, this cake is too sweet. So you can use two with adjectives. You are too straight. Okay. So two and an adjective, that is very common. The other one is you can use too much in an uncount noun or uh, after a verb. So, for example, you have too much free time. Mm -hmm. Or you work too much so on the first one is uh, with a, a noun an uncountable noun non count noun and then the second one is after work that is a verb you work too much okay and the other one is too many that is for plural nouns so countable nouns you eat too many eggs eggs plural remember that part they were too many people. Remember, the people is plural all the time in English. It's not like in Spanish. So these are like very common with two. Uh, the most common things that you can do with two. 
The question is, uh, do you have any question about this? Yeah. Okay, let's no, do it's... a little practice. Uh, let's see. It. Cecilia, could you please tell me an example with two and an adjective? Okay, let me see. Um... Uh, this this shoes is too uh, small. Okay, this maybe uh, maybe you can say these this shoes shoe. are. That uh, is the only thing. Are too because uh, it's plural shoes. Shoes, yeah. Or you can uh, say the, this shoe only one. Okay, but okay. it's a very good example. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see who else is. Um, Um, Antonio, could you please tell me an example with too much and an uncountable noun? Okay. In the city, there is too much pollution. Very good. That is a good one. In the city, there is too much pollution. Nice. Let's see, um, Felix. Felix. Uh, please tell me too much and a verb after a verb. Okay. You you visit too much uh, my family. Very good. That is nice. You visit too much my family. That is not good. All right. And with too many and plural nouns, uh, let's see, Jose. And for example, I, I need to some money or some coin. But with too many, Coins. we need to use too many. Ah, okay, I need too many coins. Okay, you can say that one, that is possible, that's good. So now we're going to check about enough or not enough, okay? When something is less than we want or we need. We can use not enough with a noun. For example, they don't have enough workers. I didn't have enough time. So this is with a noun. Then we have not enough with an adjective and, uh, well, it's going to be not adjective and enough. So, for example, she isn't old enough to vote or I am not fast enough for the team. Okay, so as you can see, it's not the adjective and then enough. And the other one is with a verb. It's going to be the same structure. Not plus the verb and enough. I don't sleep enough. So it's not and then the verb and then enough. And the other one, it might be negative. You didn't study enough. Okay, so neg the negative part didn't. Then the verb study and then enough. Any questions with this part? No questions. No questions. Okay, and the last part, this is the, the end. Something is the correct number of amount. So when, when something is enough, of course you are going to use enough. So there are three different things. Too many or too much is, is, is that much. We don't want more. Not enough is I need more. And enough is we are okay. We're fine. We don't need more and we don't have that many. So when are we going to use enough? We can use enough with a noun. I earn enough money. That means I'm fine. I'm okay. I don't need more, which is not true. Then we have 
we have enough chairs. So we don't need more, more. and we don't have too many. We have enough chairs. We can also use this with adjectives. So we can use the adjective and enough. This place is big enough. It's good. You're clever enough to see it. Ah, that is a good one. I like it. You're clever enough to see it. And also you can use that with a verb. So we can have the verb plus enough. I think I sleep enough. He eats enough for his age. So enough is we're fine. We're okay. Any questions with that? I got it. Okay. If we don't have questions, I don't want to keep you more because we uh, we want to go to bed. We need to do many things tomorrow. But uh, if you have questions tomorrow, you can ask me. You can also chat with me directly or on uh, on the chat group. Tomorrow we are going to check the midterm tests. We are just going to review, uh, skip it fast to check if there is any problem or any comments. And uh, we are going to finish the grammar for this one, okay? Uh, so my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, good teacher. Night. Good night. Tomorrow, good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye, good night. everybody. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.